Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I'm just going to be talking about, uh, um, you know, this is completely unscripted, but I'm going to be talking about the main problem with Pokemon Unite, and uh, that is that while Pokemon Unite is probably one of the most fun spin-offs I've played, um, like the most fun would probably be Mystery Dungeon, then the Ranger series, then Pokemon Unite. Like, I don't think it's as fun as, like, Mystery Dungeon and Ranger, but, I, uh, um, it very well could be. And when, the, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, in team making, if you get, like, a good team, uh, that's not stupid, then it is one of the most fun games I've played. Um, but, when, uh, you don't get a good team it is the most painful game to play um, and depending on how bad the rest of your teammates are will, dep will uh, you know depend on how painful the game is so um, just to accessorate just to uh, make my point here last night I was playing Pokemon Unite and uh, uh, just going into unranked and I got a team um, so you know, at the start of the game, me and Squirtle went bottom lane, but Charmander decided to uh, be greedy, take the first Apom, and then go into jungle. Uh, and I can't remember what the other two were, but um, basically, you know, me and Squirtle on bottom lane, I was uh, Gibble, and um, uh, the, the opposing team had a Froakie, a Pikachu, and something else. I think it was also a Gibble. Yeah, Froakie, Pikachu, and Gibble on bottom lane. So, yeah, we were just getting our asses handed to us because it was a 3v2, and uh, yeah, there wasn't really much we could do. So, I, on multiple occasions, put into the chat, head bottom lane, I need backup. Head bottom lane, I need backup. And not one of the other players came bottom lane to help. Like, it literally got so bad that the Squirtle just went AFK, so it was then just a 1v3. Uh, and I was like, this is the most painful fucking game I have ever played. Like, uh, the other three just remain top lane for no real reason. It's not like they were making any real gains. Like, um, on the bottom lane, uh, the opposing team had to... Uh, uh, beating us back so hard that they had destroyed the first goal and they weren't even going for Dreadnought, they were just bullying us at the second goal. Still, not one of the opposing team decided to come help. And they they didn't even manage to fucking destroy their first goal when it was a 3v2. Like, come on, at least one of them could have gone bottom lane to help us out. Like, you don't need uh, three on top on top lane when there's only two on top lane, especially when Dreadnought appears, like, it is so frustrating that people just don't get that, oh, the, the camera's been knocked somehow, anyway, uh, that people just don't get that the most important plays of the game are Dreadnought, Zapdos, then Rotom, like, well, no, Zapdos is first, is the most important player of the game, whoever secures Zapdos basically wins the game, um, Dreadnought, is the second most important player of the game because securing Dreadnought can basically mean that gives you a bigger advantage at uh, not only securing Zapdos but it also means that uh, uh, allies that are lagging behind get a level up uh, meaning that they're not lagging behind as much and you know basically making it easier to fend off the opposing team and it, uh, you know, that goes back around to securing uh, Zapdos so uh, if you get both Dreadnoughts, and I have stated this repeatedly in live streams and have pretty much demonstrated, but uh, if you if a team gets two Dreadnoughts, they basically have to throw by not even going for Zapdos to lose. Um, if you get two Dreadnoughts and then your entire team goes Zapdos, that's it, you win. No way in hell the opposing team is uh, going to win, unless like every time you got Dreadnought you just entered into the opposing team feeding them XP for the rest of the game. Like, come on. Uh, if you're not a complete fucking idiot, you know, you just secure Dreadnought, then secure Zapdos. And then Rotom, it, while it is nice being able to like get some free points and then uh, being able to just roll up to an opposing team's goal and then 
um, get Rotom in there and it, uh, uh, instantly score, it's not that good. Um, and then scoring points as well, like, um, so basically you do want to score points but not at, like, well actually staying alive is most important, is, is the next most important and then, then fifth would be scoring points because it's good to score points if Rotom, Dreadnought and Zapdos are on top but not at the risk of your own life which is why I always say that it is, at, uh, it is never worth going uh, for an opposing team's second goal if, um, you know, uh, it, you know, if it's uh, be if it's pa either past the point where, uh, you know, they can just use that spring pad to launch over and stun you and then they kill you, um, or if or, or if the team is competent at all, like um, you you were saying, oh, but you were getting your ass kicked by uh, uh, Pikachu, Gibble, and uh, Froakie who were at the second goal, and I, and I was like, yeah, but that's because none of my other teammates came to help me. Like, it was a 1v3, like, I, there was nothing I could have done uh, at that point. So, if you get a team that doesn't go for Dreadnought, doesn't it, uh, go for Rotom, doesn't go for Zapdos, doesn't it, uh, uh, is constantly inting into the opposing team, it doesn't really score points. Like, even then, if, if your opposing teammate doesn't score points but they're not inting into the team, then that's not too bad, but... If your team, you know, does any combination of the f of those four things, then it's pretty much just game over. Like, especially if like um, they just completely ignore Lane because they're too stupid to come help. Like, um, you should not be losing a two v two if um, unless like your level's lower than the opposing team, which how the, you shouldn't even be in that position in the first place um and secondly uh unless like you you just you just let them get dreadnought but uh secondly uh unless you're like uh venusaur and slowbro versus Z uh alolan ninetales and zero aura like those are the only occasions i would say yeah it's not that bad that you lost in the 2v2 because you're just at, at that point you're just being outclassed because levels are you know uh being a higher level than somebody like if even like 1v1 uh if uh, you know if your opponent has a level on you i would unless you're on your goal post i wouldn't suggest attacking them um uh but yeah um so it's just like that can be the most frustrating thing but then there's, a, well you can just, oh, just go AFK or just disconnect and uh, and both of them just screw you over like um, as much as it screws your team over because going AFK you lose um, play points which can be regained by people giving you like a thumbs up when you're playing well which one isn't too often and two um, you really shouldn't really need, need that because um, you know, it is, it is literally does get to the point where it is painful to play with a bad team. Um, also, why does this camera keep moving? There we go. Um, but other than that, uh, but then if you just like, um, just close the game, you're probably going to uh, lose points. And eventually I did just like, fuck this and close the game because there was no way I was ever having fun in that game at all and it's not like you can just like go back into the game and start a new game because they'll just like they could just like replace you with an AI no if you try and get back into the game they'll just lo try and load you back into the match so uh, you just have to close the game and honestly at that point in time I had no problem with just like put you know not playing the game for the rest of the night and this is really bad for Pokemon Unite because I'm one of the people who like it more. Now, imagine if I wasn't me, and I was somebody like new to the game, or wasn't you know not as into the game as I am, uh, basically. And they have that game. They have that game where none of their teammates help them. The only teammate that was helping them goes AFK. Do you think they're gonna pick the game back up? No. 
and uh, um, they really need a quit button uh, so you can quit the match because uh, and I would, I would it definitely in unranked but maybe in ranked you might, might want to uh, well ranked needs just anyway so I'll talk about ranked in a minute but I'm talking specifically unranked here uh, make it so that uh, there's a surrender button and a quit button. If you quit the match, then you don't gain anything. You don't gain any of those yellow ball things to get the loot crates, or and you don't get any experience from it. You just quit the game and uh, um, go back to the menu, and it replaces you with an AI, and then you can just go into another game. Um, you don't gain anything, you don't lose anything. Um, and I think this would be really good for like if you get a painfully bad game you just peace out um, and just leave the team to fail on its own um, would the could this lead to possible toxicity just like people just like uh, joining games to just instantly quit them I feel like it you they need to put on a cooldown and it, uh, um, make it so you have to play at least X amount of time in the game to be able to quit it um, and then maybe even like ask them to give a reason why they're quitting like uh, be it be like a multiple choice option just like my opposing team is is not playing is are playing bad um, I, I'm I need to go do something else or you know just something like that but it, you know just Having the ability to just like quit out a game without any penalty is a, is probably going to be a must-have because again, if somebody less you know who didn't enjoy the game as much as me got that round that I had last night, they probably would never pick up the game again. And there's probably people who have already had games like that and will already probably never play the game again. And this is extremely bad. For Pokemon Unite because Pokemon Unite is a free-to-play mobile game and it uh, will essentially thrive or die on an active user base and if the user base is getting you know if the user base is you know getting lowered down because people are just putting down the you know, I just uh, putting down the game and they're picking it up because they just keep getting bad games with bad team members and they're not wanting to play the game again uh, then that's going to be bad for the game games or longevity in the long run um and it, uh, the uh, and it, uh, you may say oh but the ai in pokemon united you should actually you know it, uh, the ai is actually not too bad um like if you just like have it follow you around uh and battle with you it's not bad to be honest uh i've had uh, ta you know i've had times where my teammates have just like peaced out and then i've had the ai follow me and yeah it's decent backup like um i would definitely prefer having an ai on my opponent rather than a bad team member to be honest um like seriously like when uh, it, if we go back to that game like where it was like me the bell lane game wrecked because the top lane wouldn't uh, nobody from the top lane would rotate bottom to help us out um then uh, I would, uh, I would much rather have an AI instead of one of the three top laners because then I could just like, okay, you follow me, and then you know, they're they're honestly smarter most of the time. Uh, and as long as they're following a decent player, then they'll be a decent uh, team member. Like, um, AIs aren't that bad. Um, uh, and let's talk about ranked. So I could definitely see this being used to grief in higher ranks because an AI, like I said, is decent. But if you put it into a higher higher rankings, then um, you know people aren't the AI is just going to get straight up outmatched by any higher ranked player. So which I which is why I think um, well first off. So I've been saying for a while now, but ranks need to be more limited. R ranked matches need to be more limited to people in that rank. So to make it less likely that um, your that higher ranked players are going to be matched up with low ranked players. Um, so 
uh, make it so that you can only like match up with people one rank higher or one rank lower than you are. Um, and uh, then, uh, and uh, I think that'll uh, definitely um, improve the game. But make it so that uh, if you're part participating in any ranked games uh, higher than, say, great, then you can't just quit out of the game or something like that. Um, but I do think I think I pretty well that's pretty much sure that's uh, the the most you can do because honestly, with ranked the, it being the more competitive side, uh, having AIs probably wouldn't work as well. But like I said, they can be better than some teammates, and honestly, I'd rather have a uh, AI rather than a low rank player. Um, so. Um, yeah, they just need to. The ranks need to be more restrictive on who can join a game with you because um, getting a low ranked player when you're in like higher ranks, like great and uh, like great rank, then you're just like, oh, they're just gonna play badly. Not gonna, they're just gonna play like shit, and you're just gonna lose the game, and it's just just get frustrating. So yeah. Um, but tell me what you think. Uh, do you agree with me that uh, um, at least unranked battles need a quit button that won't uh, penalise you for quitting? Or, um, you know, or do you think uh, um, Pokemon Unite is fine as it is and the shitty players will just get better? Or whatever, you know, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And d definitely tell you how much you, tell me how much you hate the fucking... Like, what is it to the ca No, the camera didn't move. This one's... Something move? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. And hope... And, it didn't, uh, and well, actually, what day is it today? Yeah, t if I live stream tomorrow... Yeah, but I I'll be back at home, hopefully, by Friday. So, um... Hopefully, the... Uh, we won't... Ha you won't be putting up with a glare from the sun any longer. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream or whatever I decide to do. Bye-bye.